Hello my fellow gardening gals and guys. Welcome back to my channel, Serenity Now Garden. My name's Jeannie and I garden in a zone 4B. I have another plant haul today. <laughs> We're doing a bunch of full sun shrubs. So I was at Menards over the weekend and they had all of these first edition shrubs on sale. Normally they're almost $28. They're like $27.98 or something like that. They were on sale after rebate. They ended up being only $19.99. So I got six or seven of them. And yeah, I'll just kind of show you each one that I got. Um, I'm not positive where I'm gonna plant these yet. We're gonna do, we're gonna try to do this video inside today cause it's kind of loud outside, but um, we'll see. We'll just like bring you in closer and I'll give you some information about each plant. Okay guys, this is our first shrub. This is a Little Spark Spirea, and I got two of these. They just really stood out. You could see a little closer here. You could see it has little blooms just starting. But let me tell you a little bit about this plant here. This is drought tolerant, deer resistant, hardiness zone from three to eight. Water needs are medium. Foliage is reddish pink and exposure is full sun to part shade. So the size this will get is about 18 to 24 inches tall and 18 to 30 inches wide. So yeah, that's a little spark spirea. Okay, so for our next plant is a snow white mock orange. I am so excited about this plant. If you could see a little closer, it's just getting some little buds on it there. So mock oranges are just amazing in the spring. Whenever I see a mock orange out in someone's landscape when it's blooming, I always say I have to get one of those. And this is my first one when I saw it on sale too. I was like, oh gosh, that's just perfect timing. These look amazing in the spring. They're full of white blooms. Um, some stats here for you. They take full sun, the foliage is dark green, the water needs are medium, the hardiness zone is four to seven, and the size is five to six feet tall and four to five feet wide. So it'll get, this is probably the biggest shrub that I got fully grown. So I, I think I have a really good spot in my landscape for this up in my front bed. And they're supposed to smell amazing too in the spring. So we'll see how that goes. So. If I could find a picture from the um, First Edition's website of this fully bloomed, I'll put it up on the screen here. And yeah, I think this one is the shrub I'm most excited about, so stay tuned for that. Okay, you guys, so for our next shrub here, this is a Lotus Moon Pearl Bush. I've never even heard of a pearl bush before. So I have no idea what to expect. As you could see, there's a couple of little white flowers on this. If I could find a picture on the first edition's website, I'll put it up here. Um, but yeah, when I saw it, I was just like, I just had to get it. I just wanted to see um, what it would look like in my landscape. So a few stats here. Um, the exposure is full sun. The foliage is dark green. The water needs are low to medium. The hardiness zone is zone four to seven. The height is four to five foot tall, three to four feet wide, deer resistant and drought tolerant. And I'll kind of give you a close up here. So this is the Lotus Moon Pearl Bush from first edition. Okay, so for our next shrub, this is a neon burst dogwood. Just look at that color. I mean, it was just, it called from like a mile away at the store, so I had to get it. <laughs> this is also one of the only shrubs that can do well in a little bit of shade. It could tolerate um, partial shade. So it is full sun to part shade. The foliage is obviously yellow green. Water needs are medium to high. The hardiness zone is all the way down to zone two through seven. The size will get four to six feet tall and four to six feet wide. Um, moisture tolerant, so I might be able to put it in like more of a boggy area, which I have in mind in the back of our um, property a bit because uh, we're just adjacent to the wetlands. So 
you can get some spring flooding back there. So I think this would be perfect. Also, it really will brighten up a shady area with this color. So I have the perfect spot. And it just said that there's winter interest, um, possibly with the, the stems. So that is Neon Burst Dogwood. All right, guys, so for our next shrub, this is a Matcha Ball Ash Leaf Spirea. Let me give you a closer look here. Aren't those leaves amazing? They're kind of like fern-like. I've always wanted one of these. So anyways, here's some stats on it. These take full sun. They can go all the way down to a zone three and up to a zone seven. And they stay pretty compact. It's just the size is two to three feet high and three to four feet wide. So they'll get a bit wider. So I cannot wait for this one. So not sure where I'm gonna plant this one yet, but on to the next one. Okay guys, so for our next shrub is a potentilla. I've always wanted a potentilla because it really gives you the most bang for your buck with where you can put this thing and for how long it blooms. And I've always been on the lookout for potentillas with other than yellowish, orangish um, flowers. I really like gravitate towards whites, pinks, purples, and blues in my garden. So when I found this one, which is more of like a cream color, the actual name of this one is Creme Brulee Potentilla. Um, when I saw it, I had to get it. Um, because all, like I said, all the ones I've been seeing lately are all yellow blooms and this one, yeah, nice creamy bloom to it. So some of the stats here. It is for full sun. The water needs are low to medium. The, this can go down all the way to a zone two and up to a zone six and it stays pretty compact. The size is um, three to three and a half feet tall by two to three feet wide. Deer resistant and drought tolerant. I'm gonna put this way up front in my garden bed where I don't have any irrigation, um, where I might not get out there with the hose really frequently because it'll really stand up to the heat. So I cannot wait for that. All right, on to the next one. Okay, so for the next one here, we have another Potentilla. This isn't a first edition, so it's just another Menards find. Um, Bloom and Easy is the name, or is the brand. And this Potentilla, let me put a picture in for you. It is, it actually blooms like a hot pink. So when I saw it, like I said, I was just, I had to get it. So this will get two to three feet tall, three, two to three feet wide. Um, it needs six plus hours of sun, and it's also zone two through seven. The potentilla that I just showed you, the leaf structure was a little bit larger. Let me kind of show you close up here. The leaf structure is a bit smaller. But yeah, I mean, these are drought tolerant. They have a long bloom time, and I cannot wait to get a couple in my landscape. So I got one more shrub for you. It's kind of large, so I'm gonna take you outside. All right guys, so this one is a Yukon Bell Pyrocanthia. So it gets eight foot high and 10 feet wide. The cold hardiness is down to negative 30. And it just says keep moist after first year. So Pyrocanthia, this is my largest one. So I'm really excited about that. Here's the plant tag. So as you could see, it'll get some orange um, berries in the fall. So can't wait for that. So that was the last of my shrubs. Um, if you could give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, it would be much appreciated. Happy gardening, guys. Thanks for watching.